throw my so, two cents in. Okay. Because yeah. now I'm not going to compete against another human being for a man. Will I compete against myself? If there's things that I know I right. need to do or the person that I want is telling me like, hey, like I don't see us being together because your credit score is like a two or like mad low or something. And I know this man two. wants to. <laughs> he wants to. He, he wants, <laughs> if he wants to like share his world with me, then I know then I need to compete against myself and I need to level up. Yeah, I'll compete in the sense of I need to do better, right? I need to get my credit score together. I need to like kill some debt or or be like, hey, we would be the one, but you gotta drop like twenty pounds because you wasn't twenty pounds when I twenty pounds bigger when I met you. Then I'll go hard against myself when I know I need to level up. But I'm not gonna go hard because he's confused between me and some other human being. Like I'm not doing that. But I will do better so, for a man that I want. So in in the I and I get that, and I guess that that's a good um, word play you just put together there, Ash. But when you think about relationships, right? And, and you're dating. You're in the dating phase. As y'all said, there's women out there dating multiple men. Same thing for men. They're dating multiple women. So just like Kit was saying before, if I got to put myself in a position where, where, you know, I want you, the woman, and I know that Tom, you're dating Tom over there, I got to step my game up to do something to look a little bit better to you than Tom. Now, but wait, am I but going to... Wait. For GMT, let's be very clear. A lot of the times, women, women don't know who or how many they're dating. A lot of the times, they'll they'll tell whatever story, like, oh, you know, I'm not doing any more seriously, you know, this, that, and the third, and make it seem like, you know, you're higher up on the podium than you may be or whatever because they want to keep you around and, and still be able to date you. So let's not confuse that, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is that when he said, you know, are you willing to compete for your, your man, that, that would have to have the assumption that these men are telling these women, like, you know, look, I'm, I'm dating other women and I'm trying to see, you know, who's wrong, you know, be whatever. Because here's the thing, the fact that you all already date multiple women and you you all are already doing your tally sheets, right? So again, unknowingly, we are already in competition, just not knowing that we're playing the game. So for him to ask that question is, is kind of far-fetched because okay. I'm not playing the Hunger Games for a man. Uh, I'm not- I'm Can not I also add- because I personally feel like this, you can't compete when you don't compare. And, and I'm not doing the whole comparison. Huh? I kind of want to add on to what um, what you said with certain things too, because um, a loser, so you are for backing him, whatever that is. So that comment right there where it says, I compete with myself to be better than yesterday. Um, That's kind of what I was thinking when he when um, the question was asked if we compete for our man, will we compete for our man? Because to me, I feel like it should be uh, you are being your best to the best quality of yourself, whether it's maximizing your communication, maximizing your um, cooking, maximizing, maximizing your interpersonal skills, whatever the situation is, you're maximizing to the best of your ability and then when you do meet someone that you someone that you come into contact with that you're interested in you're putting your energy and your focus on bringing your best to that person and if you're into exclusive dating then they're putting the best into you and you're getting to know them and moving up uh, moving from there so i mean whether you want to consider that competing i feel like you're just bringing forth your best to the world, to your, for yourself, I, I, and all of that. I hear what y'all are saying, but what I'm saying is this. When I talk about competition, I'm talking about you being the woman that what he wants. You can be the best version of yourself and be the opposite of everything that the man that you want wants. You you heard what I said? The man that you want. But so, that's, what the whole, that's what dating is. You're getting to know that person but, while you're that, dating but, them about their lives and their lives here's, as here's, well. Here's, here's what I'm saying, though, right? Is that the man that you want... Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to mute you one more time, Akiba. One more time. Um, when I say the man that you want, what he wants, right, is maybe something that you're not. 
maybe he's looking for a more feminine woman. So then I'm not for him. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't. So, and that's the problem because you're not willing to say, okay, how can I be more of what that man wants to be? So you're just going to keep on. Uh, uh, hold on one second, kid. You keep eliminating yourself because you don't want to change anything for any man that you're dealing with because you're you and you just want to be you. And that's where a lot of men have a problem because you're not willing to be open minded and check. One second, kid. Hold it in like you fought. You're not willing <laughs> to be open minded and say to yourself, like, yo, listen, look, this man is looking for something, right? Maybe he's getting it from from Brenda over there. So in order for me to, you know, obtain the relationship, because this is a good man, maybe I'm not sleeping with him and that's fine. And maybe Brenda's not sleeping with him either. But the way that Brenda is treating him is something different. So what about learning how to be more of what that man wants to be? I don't think anything is wrong with that because men do that for y'all all the time. We do. We do, kid. Go ahead, kid. Mm -hmm. First yeah. things first, you are full of malarkey and so is Sunday's panel because I legit said the same thing when I said men complain about not getting no cheats or whatever. And I said instead of them complaining about not being the meeting mm -hmm. that the women want them to be, that why not step up their game and get their shit in order so that they can be more marketable to women out here. And y'all basically told me to go blow one out in the wind. You blow me because I said that and now you saying it over here on this panel and that is the most bunch of bullshit in the world and in this damn, in this in, I'm fighting the air. <laughs> she did say that. <laughs> I absolutely she, said that. And y'all I, 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 I never said I, I did get swag and you can't do that the same way a no. woman can no, but you I'm can. not talking about swag. You can't get swag. Wow, you can't be can. more feminine. Why can't you be more feminine? I can't listen. If I'm a nerdy but dude, you can be more I, feminine. The same way that I can, you can apps women can absolutely be more feminine. They will submit to the men that make them want to submit and that can show them that they have that reason to do that. And they absolutely want to do that. And again, I have said this on this panel and on Sunday. And I just want to let y'all know. On Sunday, the same thing that GMT just said that men, like women should do for men, I literally said men should do it so that they can garner the attention of the women that they are more attracted to. And he basically told me it was an impossible feat. And now no. I am done with you, you, But you gonna let me, you gonna let me, fi you gonna let me finish? You gonna let me, you gonna let me finish? Or you just gonna keep your, you gonna keep your spirit airlines in the air for this long? Let me finish say what I'm saying, please. I'm not saying, I'm not saying at all that men cannot change to be what a woman wants. What I'm saying is what you said is we talk about swag or a person's demeanor. A man can, hold on, kid. Hold on, kid. A man can't change that. That's who we are. If a man is a dork, he's a dork. It is what it is. What, what I'm saying is, but if a man is saying like, okay, could you step your masculinity up a bit? Could you speak up? Could a man work on those things? Yes. Those I didn't say that in totality man. about everything. That ain't what y'all said. I said, could he I be the gangster that y'all, some women want him to be? No, he can't. That's not how he I is. Some men, so, hold on. Some men, and hold on, hold on. Some men, some, because you just want to talk, kid. Some men desire that, right? Some men listen to what women say and then they become the gangsters and go out there and get themselves bodied because they think that that's what women like. Men do do that. They do, but GMT, on Sunday, I literally was said, I even said about finances because I said, you know, I said these same men that are complaining about the women that they can't get over here will save up their coins, go across the, the, the country, go across the world somewhere into some place, little exotic place that, you know, it turns from dollars to ruples and now they become a millionaire overnight. And the same women that they complained about over here are the same women they go and buy over there. What I said was, why not become the better version of you? Get your money up here. Become the better person that makes you more marketable 
two women that you want and want to be desirable for. So you go from zero cheeks clapped in a year to maybe five cheeks clapped in a year. And then we can go up in numbers based on the level of leveling <coughs> we do. That is what I said. And if you don't believe me, go back and watch the episode. And y'all basically got my plane down with AKs and and. RPGs and all kinds no, of just I didn't, I didn't completely dis I didn't completely disagree with you. I was very specific on what I said that men change or could not change for women. I was very specific on what I said. But I feel like men I don't even feel like I know that men conform for women all the time. All the time. We do. Whether y'all want to hear that or not, we do. And, and then men, when we ask, and I'm not saying this in general, ladies, but in, in a lot of cases, when men say, hey, ladies, I need you to be this, it's no, this is how I am. There's a whole damn song, just take me as I am. All right. So y'all refuse to change for some of these men that y'all say y'all want. Okay. Well, guess what? The marriage rate speaks for itself. So until... Both parties are willing to change and meet here in the middle. You get nothing. That's what so I'm I, saying. I believe in compromise. Uh, there's always compromise when you're in a relationship and everything. There's always there always should be compromise. So that's not what I'm um, going against. I know that there is a level of this is where I wonder: are is there a level of autonomy that they can keep? in a sense, and still strive for better. The more they strive for better, the, and then, you know, and the compromise that comes with relationship, what are you saying in a sense of what are they trying to, how are we changing? Like, what changes are your examples? Because a lot of times we throw out these things. They should change. They should change. What kind of things are you talking about that women should change when they meet a man? You asking me that? You want me to answer that? Yeah. Okay, so if that if that man is asking you, to lower your tone when you're dealing with them. Why wouldn't you change and that's that? a. But remember, I told you about getting better personally, too. So that is something that should... That's a, Some that's, people don't think anything is wrong with that. So it's not that subjective as okay. well. Some people be like, I'm loud, and you take it. I just watched... Me and, me and, me and Dion just watched a show last night where this girl is like, this is how I am, and I'm just going to be this way. Okay. And but that's, that's how you that's and, the and all the men in the, all the men in the room told her you're aggressive, you're aggressive, you're aggressive, and she's like, "Oh well, take it." Uh, and that's six the men they, they, asking they you to be better because yes, she doesn't think better, anything please. is wrong with it. So what's better to her might not be the best for you know what's better for me might not be the best for me. But if the man that you want is asking you to tone it down, why wouldn't you? I mean, I'm going to tone it down. If, if it's a man that I want, I'm going to tone it down. But also, I think if it's a man that I want, then naturally I'm going to already be trying to be the best that I can be, the best version of myself for him. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he won't have to ask me to change too much because I'm already trying to be the best that I can because I want this man. Why would I not pipe down? Right. And right. even com um, communication. Like, you know, if, because even if it's someone who is a rah-rah type, in a sense, I mean, maybe if, if that's the case, some people can control, some people can't. I don't know, because I'm trying to be diplomatic, I guess. But um, honestly, if you're so, if, it, if they approach you with something like that, that should be something that you would want to change if you're trying to be the best best of yourself or something that can be talked about. Being like, okay, you know the way that you just raise your voice in that way, and you know that little attitude, the neck roll, the finger snap, whatever, like that. That's a little bit too aggressive for me. And then that'll be that time when we'll be like, you, you know, you're right. I see that. If you're trying to be the better you, if not, you know. I did a I did a stream on Friday, and this young lady was straight. Oh, sorry, Dion. Go ahead, babe. So I, I feel like we could just kind of like wrap this up in a bow with this. This little simple little quote from Jill Scott from an uh, interview she did with the, with, the, with the Breakfast Club. And she said, if you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. If you can't tell me what to do, then you can't tell me what to do. That's so, so stupid. No, it's not stupid. It makes sense. Let me think about it. 
Let it sit. I need you. Yeah, I need it, you to let it marinate because when I explain it, when I explain it, when I turn it, it, to, it, it, turn I it to mush. It, no, you're not. No, because you're not. You're let not letting it, it marinate. When I explain it, you're gonna like it. So sit back and relax. Thank you. So. What that means is basically, if that woman values that man, he can lead her wherever he wants to lead her because she values what okay. he's saying. So okay. you can tell me what to do. If you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. That's because I don't respect you. That's because I don't value. That's because I don't care about what you think, feel, or whatever. So... There's nothing you can ask me to compromise because you can't tell me what to do. Who are you? Who are you? That's what so I, that, I, do, that, I do get it. I do that, get that's it. That's what all I'm right. trying to say. Right. So can you recant? Can so, you recant and say sorry? All right. All right. Oh, my bad. Ooh. Thank my bad. you. So Thank you. but so here's 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 what I get from that, right? Um, and this is what I tell men. Exactly what Dion just said. If you if you can't tell her what to do, bounce. If she's the woman that's going to be disagreeable with you every time you say something, she's going to go against what you would like for her to be and who she is. Get out the door. Don't sit in an unhappy relationship with these women, knowing that you cannot lead her when she says she wants a leader because you're not the one she wants to respect. She, you're not the one that she wants to be led by. Okay. That's right. what it Whoa. is. Thank you, kid. Because I was waiting for the sound. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>